draw the other eye always always draw the other eye people say that eyes are shaped like almonds they're not 100% right because not all people have almond shaped eyes people have different eye shapes however we can use the almonds to our advantage acting as our guide just remember to slice it well not like that first off cut off this part because the curve is too much at least for my taste if you want to leave it it's okay by the way make sure you have a reference for this because the almonds are not absolute as an example let's draw upturned eyes cut it off at the top and then cut it off a bit at the corner and draw eyes on the top of it you don't have to be precise as i mentioned the almond is not absolute okay we got ourselves an eye now let's try this method for downturned and hooded eyes Okay, we got three eye shapes. Feel free to try this method for other eye shapes as well. Before we're adding this eye to a face, let's draw an eyebrow. I like to make the eyebrow into solid shape first before going in for the details. Now our eye is ready for a face. Here we have a face with no eyes on it, just some guides of where the eyes are supposed to be. And we're going to place the eye over here and oh that's terrifying it's all right i just have to make a few adjustments and then we're going to give it color and sprinkles and it will be all beautiful so keep watching till the very end and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel Remember to draw the other eye. The distance between the two eyes is usually about one eye. When it comes to eyeballs, color them reddish instead of pure white. Our eyeball is wet and it reflects the color of the inside of our eyelids, which is red. I usually just shade them with skin color and then make adjustments if necessary. By the way, don't draw facial parts separately and then sticking them to the face. I'm only doing the eyes separately for this video only. Draw the face as a whole or else it will look like patches. When coloring the iris, I like to use muted colors first as a base. I find muted colors easier to control when I'm adding shadows and the highlights because it isn't too saturated. Now don't go too crazy on the highlight at first, it is the most satisfying part, save it for last. The best thing about drawing semi-realism eyes is that you can exaggerate the eyes however you want, within limits of anatomical structure of course, but seriously you guys, you can go crazy with it. Like, I like long, sharp anime eyes with tons of eyeliner, so I'm gonna do that in my drawing. For the eyebrows, simply just pick the darkest color from the hair and make it as thick as you want. If you like them thin, that's okay too, I just think thick eyebrows are sexy. You can go back and forth between the dark and bright colors for the eyebrows to draw the details. Use some of the skin colors here and there to make it more natural.
To create the lashes, I like to take the skin color and draw a couple lines down the eyes. This method seems popular these days and honestly, it looks really pretty. Just don't overdo it or your character might look sleepy. I use lighter color for the lower lashes because I don't like it if it's too prominent and please please don't draw eyelashes like it's been flattened by an iron, none of that. Draw two curved lines meeting in the middle and fill out the gaps with smaller lines. Now for the most satisfying, juiciest part, the highlights. Make a new layer, pick add glow and draw the highlights there. I usually draw the highlights near the pupil, in the middle of the eyelids, waterline, and also under the eye. If you're not sure where to apply highlights, I suggest watching makeup tutorials. Yes, I know it sounds absurd, but in makeup tutorials, they teach you where to apply eyeshadows and highlighters in order to make the eyes look beautiful. And you can implement that not only in real life, but in your art as well. Alright, it's mostly done. If you feel that the eye or the eyebrow is slightly crooked, just cover it up with hair, it's cool. Okay, if you have any other tips for drawing eyes, feel free to comment down below. This method might not be for every art style, but I hope it helps. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!